In this video, I'll show you how to replace the battery in your Volvo V40 key fob. There are different versions of this device that have different number of buttons. You can see there's a five and a six button version. It doesn't matter which one you have. Uh, the process is exa exactly the same and the battery is the same as well. So you can just follow along with this video. I'm gonna be opening up this one and um, just follow along. We'll get a new battery in your device in no time. All you'll need is a CR2430 battery and a regular flathead screwdriver. Um, if you don't have one of these batteries lying around or you're not sure where to get one, well, you can go check out the first link in the description, which will take you over to Amazon where you can find these for a good price. So getting right into it, we want to first flip the device over, find the switch on the back, hold that down and pull out the internal key. Now you can use the key to do this, or we're gonna be using the flathead screwdriver anyway. Um, you just want to go in the keyhole just a little bit enough to push the back off. You can see it's starting to come off and now I've made a little opening there. I'm going to use the flathead screwdriver, wiggle my way in. And once you feel it stick in a little bit, you just give it a twist. And once the other side comes loose, you can just pull the two halves apart with your fingers. Now I'm going to use the flathead once again, and this time coming in on the side of the battery in one of these open spaces and just gently getting under it and prying it out. You can dispose of your old battery, take your new CR2430, and when you're putting it in, make sure that the positive side that has the plus sign on it is facing down. And you'll just snap that into place, positive side down, and now we can put it back together. So you can see this side is the bottom that has the metal um, switch there. And this is the bottom, has this opening at the top. You're just gonna line those up. You simply push them together until they click in place. And you can just put your key back in there as well. So that's all it takes, that's the whole process. Um, it's super simple and I hope you this was easy en enough to follow. I hope it helped you out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave us a like or a comment. And if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can come back here to this channel and we'll have you covered with a tutorial just like this one.